Bathurst 1000. Greg Murphy on pole after a dose of luck in yesterday's shootout. Joined by Will Davison with James Courtney and defending Bathurst champ Mark Scaife right behind. The stage set for the 49th running of the great race. Car four darts out. Murphy's going to have to defend his way up to Hill Corner because Mark Scaife was very aggressive out of the box. Murphy defending his position on the first run up Mountain Straight. The top four holding their positions on cold rubber with Paul Morris sitting fifth and holding up the field. At the front, Davison closed the gap on Murphy. Scaife third from Courtney. The young gun picking off the triple eight car at the chase. Scaife just steps aside. There's no point arguing at this stage of the race. Six laps done, you're on the seventh. Davison must have been taking notes on that, pulling out the very same move for the race lead a lap later. Scaife and Will Davison takes over the lead of the race. Garth Tander moved up to fourth, chased by Scaife and Thompson. The team Vodafone pair fighting for fifth. Scaife makes an error. A little wide at the chase and Thompson pounces. 25 laps in and most of the lead cars pitted for driver changes. Luke Yulden led in car six after a solid opening stint from Will Davison. Jamie Wincup second from Nick Perkat and Mark Scaife in the triple eight car, the only one in the top five not to swap drivers. Wincup wasting no time in taking the race lead. And Wincup will get the lead of the race at the cutting. Back in the field, reality TV competition winner Cameron Waters, the youngest in the field, put it in the wall at the top of the straight. Ouch. Yeah, it's big contact there, so it's broken the front right steering. Disappointment for Waters, but he'll get another chance. The 17-year-old is still on his L plates. The first yellow flag out after the curbing seal and a turn two crumbled. The field restarting on lap 43 and disaster for Yulden. Luke Yulden just went straight ahead, had no turn in that car whatsoever. The six car with cold rubber and a full tank going straight on at the final corner. Thompson now leading from Percat and Lowndes on the restart. David Brabham locking up at the chase and taking out Jack Perkins. And he wiped out the Super Jeep Auto Commodore in the process. A drive-through penalty for Brabham. At the front, Lowndes was pressuring Percat and the Bathurst rookie cracked. Oh, in the wall. Too much space. So Percat a mistake there by being courteous. Lowndes taking second and Percat getting away with it. Team Vodafone one and two with a five second gap to Percat after that incident. McIntyre and Stephen Richards in the top five. Ahead of Cam McConville, Dean Canto and Marcus Marshall. 60 laps into the great race. Lowndes all over Thompson with Wincup looking on. Greg Ritter making a mistake at turn 23. Oh, Greg Ritter, big mistake. He's going to rotate this. If he ends up in the gravel, he won't get out. There's only one word for that. Sorry. That brought the safety car another round of pit stops and driver changes. Lowndes forced to queue behind Thompson and losing places. All the regular drivers back in the car. Wincup leading from Tanda and Mark Winterbottom. Lowndes forced to fight his way back. That's on Van Gisberg and so Lowndes recovering this ground that he lost in the queuing process in the pit lane. The first drops of rain falling on the famous track as the clouds gathered. Wincup four seconds clear of Tanda with Lowndes a further four seconds back in third. Lowndes took Tanda for second on lap 84 and it was back to a Vodafone 1-2. Driver changes for the top runners. Thompson still leading with Scaife in for Lowndes and dropping to fourth behind Perkat and Stephen Richards. Time for another twist. A track marshal needing medical attention and causing a yellow flag. Scaife pitting out of sequence while the others stayed out. Lap 100 and disaster for John McIntyre turned around by Marcus Marshall. He's nose to nose with one of the Fujitsu cars. That's a disaster for Stone Brothers Racing. The three-time New Zealand V8 champ running in the top five all day. Tander in for Percat on lap 112 and set for a double stint to the finish. Winterbottom in as well for Richards. The pit lane busy and the field mixed. Jamie Wincup waiting patiently while at the top of the mountain, David Bernard set the race alight. Fuel on the road. This is a big, big incident. Turn two. How David Bernard's actually in the car, it's not Stephen Johnson. So safety car will be deployed. We've got 120 litres, they've just gone through the driver change. So it's David Bernard in the car, out goes the Petters safety car. A scary moment for Bernard who walked away with no injury. New brake pads not doing the job into turn three. After all that, Garth Tander led the 1000 on lap 119. Win Cup second, Winterbottom third from Paul Dumbrell and James Courtney. 
Steve Owen losing a ton of rubber through the chase. Pop the tyre off so the Dunlop control tyre just flailing debris everywhere in the chase. They'll have to be mindful of that because that could cut down other tyres. That brought out the seventh safety car, compressing the field once again. A restart on lap 125, Wincup pushing Tander for the lead. Look at this, Jamie Wincup on the inside. Has a look at Garth Tander, won't go there. 30 laps to the crowning of a Bathurst champion. Garth Tander and Jamie Wincup battling for the race lead and the only cars doing sub two minute ten laps. Mark Winterbottom four seconds back in a lonely third. All cars though needing a fuel stop. Lowndes, Courtney and Dumbrell heading in on lap 137 for their sprint to the finish and disaster for car 88. Battery voltage is on zero. No battery voltage and effectively race over for Jamie Wincup after three wins and a second place in the past four years. An eighth safety car. Tander now in the box seat and the order behind him completely changed. Pole setter Greg Murphy in second, Jason Bright in third and Russell Ingle in fourth. Ingle and Carl Reindler locking up with some oil on the track at the chase. Lowndes taking the opportunity to move into fourth. 20 laps to go and Paul Dumbrell into the fence. So there was contact too with Shane Van Gisbergen involved in that. Oil everywhere on the racetrack dropped from the back of Rick Kelly's Holden. He'd earn a mechanical black flag. Lowndes gunning for third spot and doing it at turn two. And Team Vodafone keep on fighting the reigning champ. Lowndes set to take the championship lead with Win Cup's woes now hunting down Murphy for second. Tander with 3.8 seconds in hand, the fight all happening behind him. Craig Lowndes has now gone to second position in the great race of 2011. The top three with 11 Bathurst titles between them. Tander with a five second gap over Lowndes with 10 laps to go and locking up at the chase. He does not need a mark on the tie, he runs a little wide, this is going to eat some margin for him. Lowndes closing to three seconds. Tander with a flat spot on the tyre and desperately trying to hold on. Lowndes taking nearly a second a lap out of Tander. Percat and Scaife a little stressed in the pits. The difference now, 1.2 seconds. A grandstand finish after six and a half hours of racing, toe to toe with a lap left. Tander seeing Lowndes in both mirrors one last time down the straight. One more opportunity for Craig Lowndes to have a crack. It's been more than 30 years since a rookie claimed victory at Mount Panorama in a legendary finish. This is the year of the rookie and the pro. Tander and Nick Perkett are the champions. Tander holding on. Nick Perkett at 23, the first rookie to win since Jackie Ickes in 1977. 0.29 of a second, the gap, the closest ever finish at Bathurst. And Tander and Perkett have conquered the mountain. Murphy and Simonson 11 seconds back in third.